Hey, welcome back everyone. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your instructor for this AZ900 Azure Fundamentals Examination course. So we just learned about Azure Container Instance and Azure Kubernetes Services. In this walkthrough, we're going to learn how to create a container instance and deploy a container and test it. So without wasting any more time, let's go and find out how to do that. So like we talked about in this walkthrough, we are going to create, configure and deploy a Docker container using Azure ACS. Um, so ACI. So ACI is nothing but Azure Container Instance. So you can go to all services and search for containers or on the left hand side, you can find the container instance as well. To create a sample container to display a static HTML is super simple. You create a new a ACI, give it a resource group and uh, provide a name for your container and select the appropriate region where you would like to host this container instance. You have multiple options as your image source. You can either select your Docker Hub or other registry. Uh, so we're going to select the Docker Hub and we're going to select the image type as public and Give the name for your image. So I'm going to call it as Microsoft ACI Hello World because it's a static uh, Hello World or a display HTML. So it's nothing fancy over there. And once you give that name, then you have options like what sort of an operating system where you would like to host this container instance. Do you want to keep it in a Linux operating system or, or a Windows one? And finally, you can go ahead and check the size of the container instance you're running as well. So once you're comfortable with the options like size, the operating system image of the location and the name of the container, you can basically leave the rest of the values to the default. Because we are going through an AZ900 fundamental series, it's not required for us to go dive deep into these instances. If you are sitting for an uh, AZ204 or AZ104, Definitely, you would like to learn by going into these details. So I will leave the rest of the details to the default and don't break your head into trying to learn those things. Because if you are quite new to Azure, it's very important to take Azure step by step. So don't get overwhelmed with the options available within Azure. You could get into that trap because I got into that trap because there is so much. But you could only do or you could only learn step by step. So make sure to take one step at a time. The first step is AZ900 or the Azure Fundamentals, what we are going through. So this will give you ample enough information to kick off your Azure journey. So I'm going to click on Review Create. It is going to create my first container instance. Um, hopefully, it won't take much time. Um, so let me see if I can go ahead and fast forward the deployment process. So now looks like our deployment is complete. You can go to the notification tab and click on go to resource. It will immediately take you to the resource. It's super fast and super simple. Once you're inside the resource, you can see that your first container is created. Again, you can find a lot of values and options under settings tab which we are going to ignore for this demonstration. We will come back to this on the different examination course. Check the status if your container instance is running or not. That's very important. And you need to make sure that you find the FQDN or the fully qualified domain name, because that is the address which you're going to use to connect to your container instance to verify that your static page is working. So now that we have deployed this uh, container instance, I'm going to go to a different tab. And I'm going to paste this FQDN and hit enter. Congratulations. Now you have successfully created and deployed your Azure container instance. And what you're seeing now is a static page. So you can either connect by the FQDN or you can go and use the public IP address as well. So if I go back to the browser window and type in the public IP address, hit enter again it takes you to the Azure Container Instance. Sometimes within an application, you would use an IP address to connect to your Container Instance. Sometimes you would use the fully qualified domain name for your application as well. So I hope the information provided was super helpful. 
And in this walkthrough, we have seen how to create a container instance and how to create and test as well. In the next module, we're going to walk you through the next step in the Azure Fundamentals examination series. So we're going to see how to explore Azure networking services. So I will see you in the next walkthrough. Till then, take care.